Here's a pond animal that looks like a tree in that there's yes. a stalk and up at the top are a bunch of branches sticking out. But it, it's, yeah. it's not, it's an animal and a very unusual one in that, what kind? well, it's called a hydra. Hydra? Or a hydra, right. After a, a famous a myth in which there was an animal, you could cut off the head and it would grow a new one. And this, Does this do? This will do the same sort of thing, yeah. But the interesting thing about the hydra is that these arms that stick out have little harpoons on all those little bumps. And when an animal swims by and it can sense the right kind of protein, whoop, there goes a oh, it's water flea catchy. went by. I thought maybe it would capture it. Uh, the harpoon comes out and stings, sticks into the animal and there's a sort of like a, hyper, like a hypodermic needle. Oh. And it, it calms the animal down and eventually the hydra brings it around to the point in the center where all the arms you know, uh, come together and that's where its mouth is. And by the way, right there at the mouth, do you see something? You see something yes, moving it's, there? It's moving. Like, yeah. Yes. There's another little pond animal that's, that's on the mouth of the hydra, and it's probably eating bacteria that are stuck to the hydra. Won't it get eaten by the hydra? No, the hydra, hydra won't, probably won't bother it. Now let's go to the other end. You'll see that the hydra is stuck to the, to the wall of the slide here oh. with a sort of um, suction cup. Yeah. And neat. it can tumble uh, head over heels when it wants to move. So it's the a, time? there. There is a little animal. See it? Oh yes, it's, it must be cleaning. Yeah. Whoop! Well. There, there he goes. It's pretty fast. Yeah. So it's probably going along and cleaning off bacteria from the surface of the hydra. Every once in a while, you'll find them on old pond animals. Okay, there he comes, and the hydra won't bother him. So well, let's go up and take another look at the animal that looks like a tree that catches things with its harpoons and finally swallows them whole. Swallows uh, the, the scientists whole. did a very interesting experiment with this hydra. You, it's two layers of cells. There's a layer of cells on the outside and another layer on the inside. Whoops. Oh, it's catching Whoop. something. There is the water flea, or Daphnia. I think it caught it. Oh, so how long would it take? Well, it'd take hours for it to swallow it because it has to bring it down near that opening in the middle and swallow that great big water flea. Oh, it's almost Sometimes like the water fleas escape. Oh. Uh, that one got away. Yeah. All right. All right. Anyways, I started to say there are two layers of cells, and a scientist wondered what would happen if he put a chemical in that makes the hydra open its mouth. And he put it in the water, and the hydra opened its mouth and turned itself all inside out. Then the amazing thing happened. All the cells that were on the inside, that were now on the outside, went back to the outside again. They migrated they right through the go. animal. And the cells that were on the outside before now it ended up back on the outside again. So, and the scientists now pose the question, how did the cell know, know where, where it was to supposed go. to go? All right. Anyway, a fascinating animal that a lot of scientists have studied. It's called the hydra. The hydra.